nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, time for some straight pool, okay? <laughs> yeah. The second video of straight pool and I will teach you how to play some straight pool and I will teach you how to improve and I will improve as well. So this is only the second video here, so I'm going to improve a lot. First, turn on the lights. I forgot to turn on the lights. Lesson one, turn on the lights, okay? And what I, what I recommend here, I recommend you don't rack the balls if you want to practice, okay? Just put the balls on the table and just start, okay? Because always in the beginning, when you are not warmed up, you, do, you are not so good at the break shot anyway. So you just put the balls on the table like that, randomly. Leave the rack here so you can see. Uh, it is very good to leave the rack there for beginners and amateurs so they can see where the break ball should be. So the, if the 7 is here, if the 11 is here, that's, that's the perfect place for the break, break ball. Okay, that's the perfect. So you can just do that if you want to, if you are a beginner, you, you can just place the break balls like that. And then you try to run the rack and try to avoid hitting those balls, okay? Take out all the balls and then just get started, okay? Here, the problem I see here is the 50 is blocking the 6 here. But yeah, you, you, if you leave the 6 last anyway, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. So the 15 is really not that big of a problem. Uh, but for the 14, the 14 can't pass uh, the, the 15. And uh, you, you, could, you could make the 14 in the side, but the 10 is blocking the 14, okay? So I want to remove the 10 here. I, I make the 10 in the beginning here into the, into the side pocket. And then uh, I can have, if I'm if la later in the rack, I can be here on the 8, I can roll forward. I can, then I can make the, instead the 13, I don't know, I can't see with this mask. That's the 12 or the 13, yeah, that's the 13. You can make the 13 later after you make the eight. Then you can make a seven in the side because the 10, the 10 is blocking both the seven and the 14. If you remove the 10, you can make the seven in the side, you can make the 14 in the side. And these balls are quite easy. You, you, you just make the nine there, you make the nine or you make the five and then the 12 can be made in the corner and all of these balls are open already. So this is, this is the problem right here that you need to fix. Just can't try to fix that problem there. So first, yeah, first I make the 10 ball, maybe play position somewhere here and then make the 9 or the 5. And then you can play, you can play any way you like here and try to get position on the 8. Then you make the 14 in the side or the 7 in the side, okay? So that is what I'm planning here. It's also possible to uh, hit the 14 right, right now. Just hit the 14. After making the 10, you hit the 14 with the cue ball. You have position on the, on the 13 here immediately. So I think I'm gonna do that, okay? If, if I fail, I don't have a shot, I can still make the five or the nine in the corner. So I will try to fix the problem from the first shot here. I will try to move the 14 away. Maybe make the make maybe make the seven in that side pocket after. So I just try to hit it soft, okay? Just hit it soft. Little half a tip of left speed. It is soft. And let's see what I got here. Did I get unlucky here or, or or what? Can I I can still make the can I make the nine still? I don't know if I can make the nine. I think I should be able to make the nine here with the right spin, okay? Oof. So there you go. And, uh, yeah. That is something that can happen if you are not careful. So I make the nine with right spin to throw it in. I, I try to play position somewhere into this area here, okay? Uh, make the, 
I want to make the eight in the corner after. Uh, that can be a bit risky to to. I I I I might be I might hit the six here. It is very close. Whoops! <laughs> I didn't mean that. A foul. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. Right spin like that, and now I can. Yeah, I did not succeed in coming here for the eight, but I still had a five there. I still have the five. That is good. And do I have the thirteen here? Ah, I have I have the 13 here because I pushed the 14 away in the pre previous shot. So now now the four now the 13 is available there. I can make the 13 with, with a lot of right spin to throw it in. Right le left left spin of course left. There we go. Now I have a screw loose here in the pocket. I need to screw it back, back together, coming loose. So now I can make the one ball in the corner. And what I like to do here is I want to come, come up this way with the cue ball. Okay? You need to look here if the, if the cue ball is going to hit the 12 a little bit there on the way up. Uh, I don't think it will. And uh, the five, you need to take, uh, uh, remove the five there quite, quite soon. And uh, yeah, this is the problem here. Like I said in the beginning, these balls are a pro problem. You want to get to the eight ball here quite quickly, roll it in, then make the 14 in the side or the seven in the side or seven in the corner. You just need to open this, this area here. Okay, so you want to get to the eight ball as quickly as possible. Okay, and the file is also a problem here, so you want to take care of that. And uh, yeah, okay. So what I do here is instead of playing position on the on the three ball here, for example, on the three, I want to fix this this problem here. And getting position here is quite difficult. But if I fail, I still have a shot on the two ball in the corner or the five in the corner here. Yeah, or the or this uh, seven. Yeah, seven will go into the corner also. Fourteen is can also go, but it is a little bit tight. But it will go. So you can make you can make this. You can actually make all of these balls in the corner pocket, but they, they are more difficult. So I will play position for that. So a lot of uh, left spin, lot of left spin. Just getting up, up. Go up there, and I was uh, I was too short. I did not reach these balls at all. I was too short. But now, uh, as a, as a backup, I can remove this uh, break ball here because I have that break ball as well. I can remove that. And the third, the twelve is is too tight to go in, in there. It, it is very risky if you attempt that. So I rather I prefer to make the two ball here, and then I will try to hit the twelve. Okay, after making the 2 in the corner, I will hit the 12. And the, the dangerous part here is that the 12 can block the, the, the 4 ball later. So I want to shoot that a little harder than normally. Okay, here I use a low right spin. There you go, a little harder, so it pushes it further away. So it doesn't get stuck. And now I have a perfect, perfect shot on, on, the, on the 15 here to, to remove it out of the way of, of the 14, because it is not 100%, uh, it doesn't pass 100%, so I want to remove the 14 here. And then after I play position, uh, I can play position anywhere for these, these balls here. And the, the risky part here is that if you, if you attempt position one well here, you might get stuck here, and you don't, then you don't have a shot on anything. So that is the risky part. And also the three ball here is, uh, I don't like where the three ball is here. The three ball can be a problem later. So I would like to be somewhere here on, on the three ball to take it out. Take, take out the three ball that is uh, blocking the 12 here. I don't like that. 
and position for the fork was quite difficult as well. I, I, would, I, would really like, I would really like that the three ball would go away very soon. So what I do is, from the 15, I will play position somewhere into this area. And then I can make either the 7 or the 14 or the 3 ball, depending on what, what is the... Depending on what is the best... Uh, what looks the best. So here I use a lot of left speed to kill the cue ball on the rail. A lot of low left speed. There, the cue... It killed on the rail and slowed it down a lot. Now I can pick what I want, 7, 14, 8, 3 ball, okay, I can, always good to pick, have many choices. And here, I don't like to make the 8 ball in the corner because then I have these two left and they are, they are too close to each other and I don't like if the balls are too close to each other. Much better to pick out uh, a ball in, the, in, the, in, the, in, be, in between those, these uh, three balls, so that, that I would like to pick out that ball first, the seven, but that will come later because now I, I want to pick out the three ball and like I said, if there are three balls stuck together like this, very close, you want to pick out the ball that is in the middle between them so that the distance between these balls will be bigger. If I, if I remove just one ball, then these two balls are too close to each other and it might get more difficult for position play. So I just want to remove, I just want to separate all the balls as far away from, from each other as possible and not, not be too close to each other. Because sometimes if, if, if you make a shot, you might hit the other ball and it, it will limit your position play. Okay, so I will choose, I will choose the three ball here. I, I will make the three ball and I want to make the four, four ball after, so I shoot it soft with right spin, right, right spin there to cheat the pocket also a little bit there. I, I didn't want to go too far up here because then I couldn't, wouldn't have a shot otherwise, but now it is very good. Very good now. And now I will play position for these balls here. Okay, play position somewhere into this area because then I can still make the 12 in the corner if I don't get good position on those balls. So I will put it somewhere, somewhere into this area there. Let's see what I got. Yeah, there you go. Now I can pick between all of these balls, those balls, that ball, that ball. I can choose what I want now. And I want to pick out, I want to remove, uh, yeah, this, this seven is a, is a straight in shot here into the corner. So I must remove that. And always, always, if you have uh, the, the break ball, you want to remove the balls that are very close to the break ball because sometimes when you make a shot you will accidentally hit the hit the break ball and move it out into another place and then you don't have any any break ball left so you want to remove the balls uh, around this break ball okay so th that is the reason why i will pick the 14 ball here i want to remove it i don't want it to be close to the six okay so i, I make the 14 in the side i push the seven away here and then I will have a shot on the five ball there, or the six ball, or the five, or the seven. Many, many good things can happen here. There you go, I push it away, I, I can make the seven, eight. The eight I can't make, and I will make the five there. Okay. And now is the time to start to plan the, the key ball. Where is the key ball, the second last ball, the ball before the break ball? So I want to be, I could use the, the key ball, the, the key ball should be high up and you make a stop shot here on the seven, you have a good shot for the, for the break shot here. This is the key ball here and now I need to know the pattern I will have for that key ball. So the third last ball should be close to that seven, so it is, it is that ball, the eight ball here. So if I make the eight in the corner. I can make a stop shot on the seven here into that corner and then I will have a good good break shot on the six. Okay. So yeah, so that is a, that's a very that's a that's a good good plan that I have. Also there's another another way here that I can see is by using you can use the 12 ball as the break ball. Okay. 
five ball as the key ball and the six ball as the third last ball. Make a stop shot on the six and roll the five in. Stop the cue ball somewhere there for the break shot. And the position for, for that six ball, I want to be straight in on the six, so maybe fourth last ball is the, uh, if the fourth last ball is the 11, I might end up having a cut shot on the six and then I mess up my plan and that doesn't seem so good. So uh, I don't like that plan either, okay? So you need, you need to find a good, good pattern in the end to get a good break shot. That is important to do. And uh, yeah, you can also use this eight ball as the third last ball. Make the seven and then you can slow down the cue ball on the rail here after making the eight in the corner. Have a good shot on the five there. But if you get the wrong angle, you get the, this, kind of, uh, this kind of angle on the five, you can't get down here for the 12 ball, so that, is a, that, is a, that doesn't work so good, okay? Would be much better if the 5 would be lower down. Then you could easily use the 5 as the key ball and 12 as a break ball. But I don't like the position of these balls, so that is why I would pick either the 6 or the 11 as the break ball, okay? Because if 7 is in a good place as a key ball, and you, you can get any kind of strange position on the seven and you can get easy position for the break shot okay so seven is the key ball here and now i'll make the five play position uh, for i will i will play position for the 12 in the corner there that seems to be that seems to be okay really um yeah uh, yeah i will do that if, if i get bad angle on the 12 I can still make the, the 11. I can make the 11 in the corner. Okay, I will do that. Yeah, there we go. I got a good angle on the 12. I can make the 11 in the corner. I will make the 12 there. Come up somewhere here in this area, make the 11 later. Okay. I hit that little too thin. So now I can pick what what ball I want to choose. Uh, so here first I will make the eleven, but I'm a little too full on the eleven. I can't uh, hit hard and get the cue ball below the eight here like I want. I need I need to draw it back, and this is going to be a tough shot here. So I I think I should use the the eight ball as the key ball. Right now, I will play position for the for the seven ball somewhere, and then I will just use the eight ball as the key ball, and I want to be somewhere here on the on the eight ball and make the eight in the corner, one rail position for the six as the break shot. That is what I'm planning right now, and uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think I need to do that. I just try to get position for the for the seven ball here. Yeah. There's also another poss possibility. You make the six there, go two rails position for the for the eight. But but if you fail to get position on the eight, you need to use the eight as a key ball for for that break ball, and that's, it becomes more difficult uh, when you do that. So it, it is very critical that you get position on the eight if you are going to select the six ball right now and save the 11 for the key for the break ball so i will go, go with my original plan here i will make the 11 top right spin position for the for the seven yeah that is okay and now i just need to make it uh, if i'm here on the eight it is pretty good i can draw back the cue ball to the center of the table and have a break shot on the six, very nice. Okay, just need to make it soft, uh, low, right. She cheated the pocket a little bit so the cue ball would not go too far out. I don't want to have a too big cut shot on the, on the eight ball, that would be very bad. Because if I had a cut shot on the eight, I would need to go one way, two rails, and then back up again. Gets much 
much tougher. So here I use low right speed. Low right speed is a very tough shot. Low right speed I shoot soft. Cheat, cheat the pocket a little bit there. Yeah, and I missed it because I want to. I need to cheat the pocket. Hit the right side of the pocket there. Otherwise the cuba will come up here. Then I don't have a break shot. Okay, I don't have a break shot if I don't cheat the pocket a little bit. There, yeah. Yeah, okay. So there we go. That's a, that's, that is good enough there, yeah. I hit that a little too thin there, so people went a little too far, but I'm okay. This is a good break, break shot right now. So let's put the balls on the table. These videos are going to be very long because uh, yeah, it's too straight. Pool takes a very long time and you need to rack the balls and you need to be very patient when you play this game and many many players they they don't have the patience to, for for this game to plan the rack like that. That is why you don't you don't see people play straight pool. Okay, so let's do the the break shot. Here, because uh, this, here, this is a line that you need to remember. Go, have a straight line towards the ball, like that. If the cue ball is to the left side, on that side of the line, then if you use top spin on the cue ball, you might scratch in the corner, okay? But if you are on, on this side of the, of the break ball, then you don't scratch so easily into the corner. So when you are on this side of the line, you need to use a little draw on the cue ball so to avoid the scratch. So here I use a little low, low left, low left spin. Yeah, and I missed the shot, but you see, cue ball went away from the from the pocket there, so it, it, it did not scratch. Those break shots are very difficult because it, it looks very different because the pack is behind the, the ball. So, it is very difficult to aim when you, when you shoot like that. So let's continue. Here what I see is the, the one ball is blocking a lot of balls. So of course I will, I will take the one ball, take it out of the way. And here I see a problem here. And many players, they hit the rail there and then try to hit, hit this cluster and then they get stuck with the cube here. Then they don't have any shot here to make and they are stuck below everything and may need to make a trick shot to make something uh, something here and that is not good so you want to avoid these balls okay avoid these balls don't hit it on the bottom side and get stuck you don't want to do that and i need to i will go around the table under everything i will hit the rail below them go this way with the cue ball okay now I need to make a very soft uh, draw shot to be able to do that. And then I will have a shot on the, on the four ball there later. And the seven will go in the corner also. So if I'm somewhere here on the... If I'm somewhere here, then I can make some shots there. But the cue ball is going to travel a long, very long distance right now because I need to shoot, shoot hard with the draw just to avoid those balls there. So I need to travel a lot with the cue ball. And maybe even uh, travel, travel far, go one, two, three rails, four rails, five rails, position for the 11 maybe even. And later, I can, maybe I can make the 8 in the corner, then I can make the 12 in, in, the, in the side that is blocking uh, those balls, okay? I will do that, I will go around the table, shoot hard, go around the table with a low right spin. Go around the table like that and then back up again. Let's see what I got. I can make can I make a nine there? Yes, I can make a nine, the problem ball there. So the nine was always the problem there. Blocking the ten. I couldn't make the ten and it's the twelve was there. Yes, yeah, so I will I will just remove uh, the nine ball there. Remove the nine. 
and then I, I can make the three, I can make, yeah, I can make the 14, okay? I can make the 14 in the corner. Uh, I can do many good things here after this chat. And uh, yeah, this is a big problem here. Three and two is a problem. I need to run into this, this cluster here and remove some problems, but I don't have any ball to, to, to shoot after I break this open. So that is, a, need to be very careful about that. So I think I would rather just pick out the 40 ball away, remove the 14 away, so I don't have that problem anymore. So I'm going to do that. I will play, I will play procedure for the 40 ball with top right spin. Top right. Oh, I cannot believe I, I will do it again. I thought it was so easy. I thought it was so easy. I didn't even concentrate. Okay, I was looking at the looking at the position there. So you need to be very careful when you play straight pull. Everything is easy. All the shots are easy. You need to focus. Just just make sure to make the shot. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to chop the cue yet. So here now I make the fourteen. I make the fourteen, and I might want to hit these walls here just to fix something here, make it a little bit easier for me. And if I start the cube somewhere here, I can make the 15, I can make it, I can even make the four more if, if something happens, so I will do that. Here, I will try to attempt to just hit the five a little, just a little bit on, on the edge, but if you are not good at controlling the cube, then you don't want to do that because if you hit, hit the bottom, if you hit the five full, you will get stuck here behind, so that is not good. So I would just try to, I would just try to barely miss the five, and if I fail, I might hit the five and I'm okay. I will do that. There you go. That is very nice. Now I open up these balls here, and I have the four, four ball like I said there, and I I can't make the twelve in the side, and. Now it becomes, uh, I don't have any, any, any clusters here like right, right now, but I, I need to play very good position here to, to pick out one ball at a time, okay? It's very critical that I do it very soon. And the only shot I have here is the four ball. So after the four ball, uh, I'm almost straight in on the four ball, so this is going to be very tough. And uh, this, the, seven, the seven is ma makeable in, in the corner, like I, like, I, like I looked in the beginning. Seven can be made in the in the corner there, so I'm going to pick the seven after that shot. And that is going to clear out many problems. Let me let me. I need to draw draw the cue ball back a little bit. It's going to be a tough shot here. I don't. The eight ball can't can't be made there, so that's a tough tough position. I mean, that's a tough position. Maybe I should have selected another shot there here to open open up, but that is, I still would have had the cluster here. So many problems here. I will draw, the, draw back the cupo. Oof. I think maybe I should just, just make a stop shot here. Because if I draw back the cupo like that, I need, I need to make a tough cut shot on, on the seven, and I don't like that. I'd rather be here on the seven and make a long shot on the seven that is fuller. So here, I will just make a stop shot here. Stop shot. There. And now I make the tough seven. That is going to clear out some problems. And after the seven, I might hit the 15. I might go there, make get position for the, for the six ball. And that will clear out that, pro, that area right there. Uh, and also, I might go around the table. If I go around the table, uh, yeah, I can make the 12 in the side because if when I make the 7, the 7 is blocking the 12 right now. So I couldn't make the 12 in the side before, but after I remove the 7, I can make the 12 in the side. So if I go around the table, after making the 7, I go around the table with the keyboard, 1 rail, 2 rails, 3 rails, I can make the 12 in the side. So, and also I can make the 15 in the corner if I'm in front of this shot here. I can, make the, I can make the 8 in, in the side if I cut them too short here. That is, that is okay. So I will just play with speed. 
I really think I will hit either the 12 or the 15, but if I miss these balls, I will go around the table here and get position here. And if I hit the 15 here, I will have position on the 11, I, I have position on the 12 in the side. So many good things can happen out of this shot. So I will just play with speed. I will just play with the correct speed. I hit many balls there. And now I have a good shot here. 12 in the corner is quite difficult. 50 is very easy. 6 is easy. So the 15 and the 5 are the break balls. They are, they are the break balls. And I want to pick, I will pick the 15 here. You can make the 6 in the corner and draw, draw the cue ball here. But you, can, you might get stuck here. The only reason you should, you should attempt to break open this ball is, is if, if you have a ball here to make after. So if there was a ball here, then you could then of course make the six in the in the corner, hit the two and the three with the cue ball, and then you make the 14 in the corner. But there is no ball here, no ball in this location. So I don't want you to that's a bad idea to just go into the pack here, go into those balls and get stuck. I don't want to do that. Okay. So I rather follow the 15, later make the two in the corner here. And uh, make the 15, then the 10 in the corner, get position on the two in this corner. That's a good plan. So I will do that. Yeah, let's see what I can get here. I need to follow the cue ball. Maybe stop somewhere there, that might be risky to be so close to the 10, but I want to clear out this area as quickly as possible. I don't want to wait with that. I don't want to wait with that. I could of course make the 13 in the corner, but this long shot is tough. This, this 50 is much easier to make in, in the side pocket. Ah, and it was not so easy after all. It was not so easy after all. I, I thought it would be so easy. This, 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 this is the reason why many players miss in straight pool. They, they, take it for granted and now I went too far but I still have the 12 in the side I still have the 12 in the side so no problem now my wall is in the way here so here I will go around the table one rail two rails three rails come up somewhere here okay I want to take I want to get position if I if I get position on the eight I can draw back a little have position on the tail and then later make the two in the corner. So I'll just get somewhere, somewhere close to these balls here. Then I can pick later what, what, what is the best choice. There you go. Now I can decide what is the best choice. I think the 10, the 10 is the best choice. I can get, get down to the, to the two ball very nice. That's very nice there. I'm happy with this position I have here. Make the 10 in the corner. Then make the two. Then, make, then I make the two there. And here, here I, I will show you a trick. Trick that you can do. You see that the 11, 11 is in a very tough place. You don't want it to be there. So after I make the two, I will just push, push the 11 away from this, this, uh, this place. I don't like where the 11 is, so I will just I try to push it away. I have a good angle on the three ball, on the two ball to do that. So I just push it away. Try to get it close in front of the side pocket. I missed, I missed the eleven. There, I hit it on the wrong side. Now I need to suffer. I need to pick out that ball right now. Okay. Yeah. I could of course make make that ball in the corner, but. That, that is a bit, I need to take out that tough shot. Uh, yeah, I can play position somewhere here for the eight. As a backup, I have the three ball in the corner. I can make that ball in the corner as well and then make the two. The, the eight ball is a good key ball. Eight is a good key ball. And if I make that ball in the corner, I, I might hit, hit these balls. 
uh, and mess up some some positions I have there. So I don't want that. So I'll just I will just try to make the eleven in the corner. Play position maybe somewhere here. This is going to be a tough shot. Tough shot. Let's see what I got. Yeah, I I, I don't think I can hit. The, I can't make the the thirteen in the corner. I can't do it. I need to hit the. I need to make the eight ball first. So I make the eight ball first here. There now I can make uh, either the thirteen first and then the three ball, or I can make a three ball right now. Um, yeah. The problem is that if I fail with position from the 13 to the 3 and I have the wrong angle, then I lose. Okay, I need to be higher up here. I need to be higher up on the 3 ball. So I might want to just make the 3 ball right now instead and play 2 rest position for the 13. The problem I have with that shot is that if, if I end up here on the 13, how can I get position on the 6 ball after? That's going to be a tough shot. Okay, so I, I will pick that alternative. I will hit the rail there, stop somewhere there on this three ball, okay. Just don't go too far. There you go. That is nice. And now I can play position on the, on the six ball here. And six is going to be the key ball. And that's, that is, it's not that, that difficult. So if I have a cut shot, I can just make, make it in a corner, roll the cue ball up here for the break, break shot on the five. But if I'm on this side of the six, it can be quite tricky to do. So I just want to keep the cut angle that I have. Um, I don't want to get straight in on the, on the six there, so. That is why I'm gonna draw back the cue ball to this rail, just, be, just to be sure that I will have a cut angle on the, on the six ball. I will draw, draw back the cue ball to that rail. Just to be sure, I have a good angle. Like that, and not too far, not too far. I went way too far there, but now I just need to make the shot, and I, I have a good break ball. Let's go back and forth, this is a tough shot. I, have a, I made the falling stroke there. I made the falling stroke where, where I fall into the shot. This is a tough shot. Oof. But after you make this shot, you are going to have, if, if you make this shot, you are going to have a good break, break shot on the five, just, you just need to make it, you need to focus on, focus on making the shot. And I miss it every time now. Let's do it again, I'm looking at the light of the window. I can barely see anything. There you go. Yeah, finally I made it. And now, you see it goes back and forth. You have a good shot, no matter what happens. You have a good, good break shot here. As long as you have, as long as you have a, a cut shot on the key ball, key ball will go to the other side and you have a good shot on the break ball. So that is, that is the, that is the benefit of having a cut, cut angle. Do I have recording time? No, I don't. I should, I will make it, should I make a break shot very quickly? Four minutes left. And now on this break shot, like I said in the last break shot, you need to use a little draw on the cue ball to avoid the scratch in the, in the corner. If you, if you use top spin, the cue ball will just dive forward and get a scratch. And I think many players have had that many times and they don't know why. It's because of this, uh, this line here. You make a straight line here and if the keyboard is on, on this side, you use a draw shot. So here I use a low right spin. There you go, and now the keyboard goes away from the corner there. There you go, now I, I, fin I finally made that big shot, so yeah, this is going to be the end. 
this is going to be the end of the video i don't have a recording recording space so until next time goodbye there's nothing else in life than pool play pool play pool